Hey guys, welcome. Hey Donna. All right, let's see. Perfect, perfect. Awesome, love seeing you guys on here early. Great job. So I am just gonna be sending out some last minute reminders. I hope you guys are too. Because even if people are not new promoters, this is a great way for them to get um, familiarized, duplication, all those great things. I'll be right back. All right, let's see. There we go. So if you are just hopping on, we're gonna get started in about seven minutes. And this is definitely something that you wanna invite all of your promoters on that are part of your team, because one of the biggest things that you can do to help your business to grow, especially at a fast rate, if that's what you're looking for, is master duplication. So what I mean by that is the faster you can teach everybody on your team to be able to teach others and be able to keep the system going, the faster that you can do that, the faster that your business will grow and the faster they'll be able to teach others. And so what I mean also by that is most people who are joining a network marketing business, most people who are joining Lavelle are doing it alongside a full-time job or at least a part-time job. They're already busy, right? And so they have a lot going on. So if we can teach them how to master their business quickly and duplicate it and other people can hop in and do the exact same thing that they're doing and see success and they just keep passing that on and on and on, you'll see your business duplicate. You'll see yourself have a thriving business that is residual income that will bring you in amazing paychecks every single week. But most importantly, you will see your business grow and that's what you all want right? So it's important that you get all of your promoters on here, even if they're not in their VIP right now, so that they learn how to talk about VIP, so that they learn how to help their new promoters. We're going to be talking a lot about what are the things that you need to do um, while you're in your first month or so of business. Um, we'll definitely be going over VIP uh, 800, VIP 1600, but we'll also talk about what are the tools that we have to help people during that time. So just so you guys know, it's really for everybody, and I would message out your team right now and try to make sure everybody knows about it. I'm doing that myself. All right, awesome. We're going to be getting started in about four minutes, guys.
All right, guys, let's see. We're going to get started in about three minutes. Hey, Elizabeth. Hi, Connie. Hi, Nancy. I'm seeing lots of you guys hop on. Awesome. Hey, Carrie Simpson and Jennifer Evans. So exciting. Lots of awesome people. Emily Brand. Hey, Jody. Awesome. So you guys, lots of current promoters or what we call, I hate to say old promoters because you're definitely not old, seasoned, let's say seasoned promoters. Um, but we want to make sure that we're helping our, hey Ryan, we want to make sure we're helping our newest promoters to hop on as well. And so if you are, um, hey Jeffrey, if you're joining us tonight and you are a new promoter, do me a favor. And if you scroll at the bottom, there's a little button that says chat, click it and say hi to us in the chat and let us know how long you've been in business. So anybody who's 45 days or less, go to that chat and then shout out and say hi to us and tell us how long you've been in business. Um, but you guys, let's make sure we're messaging our newest promoters and reminding them to get on. But also like we talked about a couple minutes ago, for those of you that just joined us, this is gonna be a great um, reminder. You know, this business is one where if you can learn how to become duplicatable, I always say the best copycat wins. And the reason I say that is because a lot of people are joining this business alongside a full-time or a part-time job and they don't have a lot of time. So if you can learn how to be duplicatable and teach your team to be duplicatable, anybody can join this business at any time and see success that's what's going to make your business grow. That's what's going to help you to have a sustainable, long-term residual income biz side hustle, whatever you want to call it. And from there, that's how you see yourself grow from 4K to 12K to 40K to 80K to 200K and beyond. And that is exactly how we did it in the very beginning. So awesome. We got lots of new people hopping on. We have Amy, who's on day two. Shout out to Tracy. She's only been on it for a month or so. Jill Hitchens is 22 days. Oh, that's so exciting. Mia Ward said um, she's been using it. Oh, it moved so fast. I couldn't even get to you. Whoops. Let's see. And oh my gosh, so many awesome people. Great. So guys, if you are 45 days or less on the product and in the business, we'd love for you to hop on the chat and say hi. Awesome. Emily Brand, two days since the difference, since the first shake. Amazing results. I decided to join the promoter team. Today is my first day, Mia Ward said. Oh my gosh, we're so excited you're on. Good job hopping on Power 30 Zoom. Awesome. Well, just a reminder, guys, this is every single Monday night that we're having this. So we are going to go ahead and get started. Let's see. I got to change the way I'm viewing this. It's, it's, hold on. Hmm. It's not putting me in the middle like it usually does. Hmm. Never fails, you guys. Every time I do this, we do. Oh my gosh, that's way too big. That's not what I want either. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. All right. Well, we're just going to get started. Okay. Awesome. Oh, well, I'm so glad lots of you guys are posting on the chat telling us about how long you've been thriving and how long you've been in business. Awesome. Well, for those of you um, that are meeting for the very first time, my name is Blair Critch. I'm so excited that you guys are joining us tonight. I was supposed to have Andrea Kaufman with me, but she may or may not be able to hop on last second. And so if she does um, and you guys see her, shout her out to me, tell her um, to shout out to me so that we know she's here. But I'm excited you guys have joined us tonight. We are hosting this, this new promoter Zoom every single Monday night through the month of June and July. And the reason we're doing it every Monday night at 8.30 p.m. is really specifically so that we keep it short, we keep it sweet, and then right after at 9 p.m. Eastern, you can hop right from here and you can get on to our Lavelle live call. And the reason, oh, hi, Pam. And the reason we're doing that is because we want to make sure that you guys get used to that as well. So every Monday night, our corporate um, puts out a team, a, a call called Lavelle Fast Start Call. And it's every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern. Okay, we'll make sure we give you that phone number. Hey, Ryan, I'm going to um, beg you for some help really quick. Ryan, can you type up the phone number for Lavelle Live really quick in the chat so people can see it? 
Thank you. So every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern is our fast start call. That is for promoters. It's going to help you and help your newest promoters to know what to do to move their business fast and be able to hit their bonuses. On top of that, every Tuesday and Thursday night at 9 p.m. Eastern are Thrive Experience Stories. We're also hosting through the month of June and July just this group, this amazing group from Elise Leininger and all of her 200K leaders and down. We're hosting every Wednesday night here on power30zoom.com the exact same thing. We'll be having people share their Thrive Experience stories in the three threes of Lavelle. So I'm just giving that plug because I know this is only technically week, um, really the first new promoter training, but week two of doing this. And so we want to make sure we're explaining what it is and how it works. Thanks, Ryan. So I'm going to share a little bit about me and my uh, Thrive Experience and my journey. I've actually been in the business. It'll be four years in August. I've been on the product four years in July. And a lot like you guys, I was tired, exhausted, run down, and stressed out. When Elise first reached out to me, it was actually February of 2014. And it took me all the way from February until July to finally say yes to getting started on the product, to looking at the business opportunity and not thinking Elise was crazy. Some of you guys have heard me, heard me share my story at our local events that we have, and I'm not gonna go deep into it today, but what you do wanna know is that I said no to her a lot of times. Like, we're not just talking two or four or six. I probably said no to Elise about 20 times. And I also made fun of Elise behind her back to her mutual friends. So those of you that know Beth Graves, she's an amazing 200K leader on my team. She and I literally started the exact same day we're friends and we have been laughing at Elise behind her back until I finally decided to give it a chance. And it was because Elise consistently reached out to me. So I'm going to start off by encouraging you with that because here's why. If she hadn't kept reaching out to me and telling me about how amazing this product was, I wouldn't be here today sharing it with you guys. And if she had gotten intimidated or hurt or had started to not believe in the product and in the business, I wouldn't be here today. And so I'm utterly and forever grateful for that. But what I want you guys to understand is there are going to be people over the next couple of weeks, over the next couple of months, over the next couple of years who are not going to understand what you're doing. They are going to say things like you're crazy, or they might ignore you, or they might say some things that I actually said of Elise, which is, oh man, that girl's just so good. She could sell snake oil. Like I, she's just making people believe that they need that because she's so good at sales. Right. And so, you know, I just want to encourage you that as we share tonight, it's a numbers game. And so you want to make sure that you're reaching out. So I'm going to start with this quote that I absolutely love by somebody who's been in the industry for a very long time. He actually wrote the book. Um, this is a great book, guys. He wrote the book, um, Your First Year in Network Marketing. Now, I will say this book is a little outdated, but there are so many amazing things in it that will help you and encourage you. And one of the guys in this book actually said this quote. He said, I simply showed the plan to 1,200 people. 900 said no, and only 300 signed up. Out of those 300 people, only 85 did anything at all. Out of those 85 that did anything at all, only 35 were serious. And out of those 35, 11 made me a millionaire. And you guys, that is so true. So as you can see behind me, I'm a Lavelle millionaire, and I'm so thankful each and every day for this amazing business opportunity. But I did that in less than three years. And the reason I did that is because I learned a couple things along the way. I learned to be duplicatable. I learned to always share about the product wherever I was and not to prejudge people. I learned that the biggest thing that I could do was get people the information and then get them on a three-way call with people. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. And I learned how to make sure that everything that I did was duplicatable. I didn't um, start to, to go down my own path. I followed what the leaders ahead of me were doing that were having success and I copied and repeated. And I really became the best copycat possible. And I got as many people on the product as possible and as many people start in the business. And anytime somebody clicked that promoter button with me, I tried to help them hit their VIP 800, VIP 1600 in their first two weeks. And so that's what we're going to talk about first, because it's so important. But as I didn't dive deep into my story tonight, I want to, but we don't have enough time for that. One of the biggest things that I want to say 
is that you all have a story. It's why you decided, yes, I'm going to click that promoter button. There is a reason, whether it was the unbelievable way that you felt on the Thrive Experience, whether it was the unbelievable way somebody in your family felt on the Thrive Experience, or whether it was an amazing opportunity that you saw in front of you that was unlike anything you'd ever seen before, and you knew the possibilities that were there for your family. Whatever is the reason that you decided to click that promoter button, it's your story. And your story is really important. And so I want to encourage you to take some time over the next 24 hours to sit down and write your story. Now, I'll tell you something. I'm not the best story writer. When I first wrote my Thrive Experience stories, it was more like bullet points. And that's okay. It doesn't have to be a great writing. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's your story. What would you want somebody who's scrolling through Facebook, what would make them stop? What would have made you stop or what did make you stop? That's what you want to write about. And I want you to send in your story to my thrive experience at Lavelle.com. Okay. So it's my thrive experience at Lavelle, L E dash V E L.com. Send your story in with some pictures of you, maybe a picture of you wearing your DFT, maybe a picture of you and your family or you being active, but get that there. Okay. Because this is the time for you to get your story out so people know why you're doing this. Because the biggest reason that people want to know is why. Like, why are you doing this? Why now? Right? And that will be a great way for you to be able to do that. And also remember, this is your business. So congratulations on deciding to be part of your own business and owning your own business. Obviously, you're not in it by yourself. You have this amazing team, and we're all here to support and help you. But um, give you that link again. It's my thrive experience at lavelle.com, L-E-V-E-L.com. You guys, so sometimes I glance down and look at chat and sometimes I don't. So if there's anybody on our team who can answer um, people's questions on there, like if it's something that you know, um, like a phone number or a link or whatever, feel free to hop on chat and answer it for people. It's totally fine. Um, so anyways, what I was saying is now you are the CEO of your own business and you're not alone, but it is your business. So you want to make sure that you know about your product, know about your business. And so we're going to share some of those ways of how you can do that today. But let's start with VIP 800, VIP 1600. You've now clicked the promoter button. You have two weeks in your very first two weeks that you're in business, 14 days to hit VIP 800 and VIP 1600. Okay, there is some great um, illustrations of how to do that in worksheets on our vault, and we're gonna show you where to find that in a minute. But it's basically as simple as this, guys. Get two auto ship customers, get two promoters who order upgrade packages, total sales are $800, boom. You've just earned a $400 cash bonus plus about $100 to $150 in cash commissions based on what you sold, and another 100 in credits that you can use on any product or you can gift them to others. Wow, that happened really fast, right? And now you can go get another two customers in auto ship, another two promoters who purchase upgrade packages, total sales are 800, and boom, you get all of that again. That's called VIP 1600. So in your first two weeks, for bringing in $1,600 worth of volume, you could actually earn over $1,100 in cash. It's pretty exciting, right? Well, the other really cool thing to think about is, is how they set you up for success when you're hitting your VIP. So when I first started, I realized very quickly that it was brilliant. Think about this. You're bringing in two auto show customers in your first two weeks. Wait a minute. That means next month I'm going to be thriving for free. Awesome. Now I can teach those customers how to duplicate that get their two customers. I've taken two customers and now I have six customers. That's pretty good residual income, right? The next thing is I also brought in two new promoters who purchased upgrade packages to hit my VIP 800. That means I'm going to help those two people to go on to hit their VIP and their VIP 1600, right? Or their VIP 800 and their VIP 1600. Why? Because I'm duplicating. I hit it. I, of course, want anybody who I brought into this business to hit it as well. So it's all about mastering that duplication. And that is how you will see your business expand and grow and grow and grow. So imagine that you have either hit VIP 800 and you have two customers and two promoters that you're helping, or you've hopefully hit VIP 1600 and you're helping four auto ship customers to get their two so they can thrive for free and helping four new brand promoters to go on to hit their VIP 800 or VIP 1600. So it's a really exciting way how it really starts to move very quickly. 
And I don't want to forget, this is not always, but for the month of June, anybody who orders a $400 package as a promoter or an $800 package as a promoter, it's double QV. So what does that mean? That means if somebody purchases a $400 promoter pack, which is my ultimate favorite package because it's three months worth of product, keep a month for yourself, maybe give a month to your spouse, spouse or partner, and then you have another month to be able to sample out, that counts not as 400, but as 800. So imagine that you already have that amazing volume that you need for VIP 800. Hmm. And every customer and every new brand promoter in the month of June, new customer, new brand promoter in the month of June gets $25 in credits. So I'm going to give you guys a quick illustration because this is a little bit different this month. So let's say, for example, you have four people, okay? Matthew is your newest customer. They just signed up today. They immediately get $25 in credits. Maybe Matthew's not ready yet to order the Thrive Experience. He's a little bit nervous. He he's not 100% sure, but you need an auto ship customer for VIP 800. So what you could say to him is, hey, listen, you're already getting 25 off. I know you love protein bars. I really think that you could see how amazing and premium grade quality our products are. Let's get you to order either, you know, the lemon, the cookies and cream, whatever you like. It's either 30 or 35 based on the flavor that you're picking. And now you've got an auto ship customer who's really only spending five or ten dollars, right? But it counts as an auto ship customer. And then your second customer comes in, maybe they order the Thrive Experience, maybe they just order bars, whatever. But now your newest promoter just ordered a 400 pack and that's counting as 800. So you already have your volume that you need. You just need to get one more promoter to order a promoter pack. It could be the 100, the 200, the 400, or the 800. Okay, hopefully everybody understood that. I know I went over that pretty fast, but I'm gonna show you where to find um, that worksheet as well when we get into the vault. Okay, so now you know what VIP 800 is, you know what VIP 1600 is, maybe you're even on your way to working towards the iPad that you can earn in your first 30 days by hitting 4K, mm -hmm. but what do you use to help you get there? What are the tools you use to start getting to um, having new customers and having new promoters? Well, guys, we all have the same toolbox. We all oh, have the same wow. things we use. Right. And so, oh, somebody unmuted themselves. Let's see. Um, I don't know what your name is, but you unmuted yourself. So, hey, guys, do me a quick favor and look at your thing and make sure you're muted. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> so I muted everybody at the beginning. So if you're unmuted right now, it's because you unmuted yourself. Yep. Thank you. Awesome. I'm going to keep going. Um, if you're on your phone, you could even just hit mute on your phone or your computer, and then that way we wouldn't hear you. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So the tools that we have are the same for everybody, guys. And hopefully you all know this as well. But we have the Facebook fan page, which is facebook.com slash Lavelle Brands. That's where people write into the company every single day where I really was pushing for you guys to do it as well. And the, those stories go up on the Facebook fan page. You will find a story for every single person that's on your list. Hopefully you've taken time to write out a list, right? Who are the people that you want to start reaching out to? You want to make sure you have that list. But I'll tell you something, the Facebook fan page really helped me the very first couple nights that I had decided to be a promoter to help me to jog my memory about different people who I need to reach out to. My husband and I committed to getting a piece of paper and writing a hundred names, but I got to about maybe 50 and I got stuck. But I went on that Facebook fan page and found a ton of stories that remind me of a cousin, an old neighbor, a friend of mine who is a doctor, a friend of mine who is a firefighter. All of a sudden, all these people started coming to my head. And so that's what will happen to you. But if you read a story and it directly reminds you of somebody, send it to them by private message. Shoot it over to them. You can click the share button, send by message, and you can send it to them one-on-one -on -one and say, hey, this reminded me of you, I, especially this part that said this. We'd love to hear what you think after you read it. I'll check in with you tomorrow. Okay, so we have the Facebook fan page story to share the stories with others. We have the 24 hour recorded call by our CEO. Um, Ryan, I'm going to ask you to post that again. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's 641-715-3669. 
And then um, the access code is 137907 pound. That is pre recorded. He does it about every month. It's a great five minute message you can send to people. I found, especially for men, that worked really well for me and it still does. Because I'll always say to them, hey, listen, CEO says it better than anybody else. I'm going to send you over his recording, listen to it, and I'm going to catch up with you. I'll call you tonight at 8 p.m. Does that work? All right. The customer groups, hopefully you guys are in these customer groups. They are working so great. I know for me, it's been going great. I just say, hey, I would love to get you some more information on health and wellness as well as the Thrive Experience. We have a private Facebook community group and I'd love to add you into it. You'll get lots of value from it. And you can hear from other customers who are loving the Thrive Experience instead of just promoters. People are loving those groups. That's another great tool. And then, of course, getting them on the phone, finding out what time they can talk. Don't just say, when can you talk? Because people are busy. And what happens is you go through your calendar in your head, and you're like, I don't have time to talk. Instead, give them some choices. Hey, my kids are going to go to bed tonight at 830. Can I call you then? And if they say no, give them a second choice. Most people won't say no more than two times. And then as soon as they tell you a time, do not say you're putting them on a three-way call. Do not say, I want to get you on the phone with my friend named Blair. Nope. Instead, you're just saying, what time can we get on the phone? Does 7 or 7.30 work for you? When they tell you what time that they can talk, that's when you message your upline leader, whoever brought you into this business or whoever you've been working with. And you want to say to them, listen, I've got somebody tonight at 7 o'clock. Can you be on with me? And at that point, that's when you want to make sure that you're getting them connected. And here's how that goes, guys. And we can do a whole nother Zoom about three-way calls. Um, but I want to remind you, because I've had a lot of new promoters lately who are having that uncomfortable transition of how to do that. It's so easy, guys. Keep it simple. Keep it you know, I always say kiss, keep it simple and stylish. But really what that means, guys, is like, just be cool. Okay, just be cool. This is how you do it. Melissa, I'm so glad you took five minutes to talk with me. I can't wait to tell you about Thrive. I know you've already heard what it's been doing for me. Here's why I thought of you. But I asked my friend Blair to join us tonight. She's been on it for four years. And I know you'll love her story. Let her share her story with you. Ask her any questions that you want. Then she'll hang up and we'll decide if this is right for you to get started or not. That's it. And then you just call in the leader, get them on, let them share their story, answer any questions. That simple, guys. And it makes it so much easier. And again, it's duplicatable because people are busy. So if your newest promoters or you are coming to this business and you work full time, you can connect people with your leader while you continue to go off and do what you need to do. I know that Moria Dillard, the highest paid promoter, and she's our up on our um, family tree up at the top. And one of the things that she always says is she was still a speech pathologist when she first started. She was going in to work with people and she would have to say, hey, listen, here's my friend Sheila. She's going to explain this to you a little bit more and tell you her story and answer your questions. And then I'm going to put myself on mute because I'm actually walking into an appointment. When I get done and get back in the car, I'll follow up with you and see what you thought. So like she couldn't even always be on. So utilize those guys are such a great way. And if you can get your sale done, get your sale done. Like that was one of the things that happened to me in the very beginning was, you know, I was good at getting people to order. That was, you know, they trusted me. They believed me. They heard the excitement and energy in my, in my voice. So if you can get the sale, get the sale. But you still want to do a three-way call maybe when their product is supposed to arrive or between them ordering and the product arriving. Why? Because if you don't do a three-way call with them, they're never going to do a three-way call with anybody else. It's mastering the duplication. So I had a lot of people that ordered me still do without having to get them on a call, but I make sure that I say to them, Hey, look, it looks like your package is going to arrive Saturday. I'd love to get on the phone on Friday and just go through what to do for the first couple of days so that we make sure you have the best experience possible. What time Friday works for you? I'm free at two or four. What's best for you? When they give me a time, that's when I book my three-way call with my upline leader. Why? Because I still want them to hear somebody else's story. I want them to hear how they can thrive for free. And I want to make sure that they know how to use their Thrive experience. And now when they love their Thrive experience as a customer, and I ask them if they're interested in learning more about being a promoter, and they say yes, they'll be comfortable with a three-way call, right? All right. So just a reminder to you guys that any new customer, new promoter this month that joins us gets $25 in credit. Also, people who are getting the $400 pack, hopefully you as a new promoter ordered the $400 or $800 package. You got promo codes. Use those promo codes, guys, to close the sale. Hey, I've got a 10% off and a free shipping code. I'd love to give those to you, but, it, but that's going to end tomorrow night. You can put an expiration date on it. 
You don't have to lie. You just say when your deal is ending. It's your deal. These are your promo codes, guys. So if you ordered a 400 pack, you have 10 10% off, um, 10 percent off promo codes, and you have 10 free shipping promo codes. If you ordered an 800 pack, you have 20 10 percent off and 20 free shipping. So utilize those. If you don't know how to do that, make sure you ask us. Okay. So I'm going really fast because I know we have a lot to share in the last 10 minutes and I want to make sure I get to it. So another really great spot guys is we thrive vault. Okay. And when you click on that, this is available for our team only at least put this all together for us. Oh, that's weird. We're not seeing it in picture form. Sometimes it shows up in picture form. I don't know, I must have done something wrong. Anyways, so there's all kinds of things on here. How-to guides, personal development. I want you guys to look at what to do first, right here. That's one that you will love. This one right here, scripts as well, is a great one. Hey, Ryan, can you give me a thumbs up? Can you guys see my share screen? Okay, awesome. Um, so right here on scripts, you guys, these are some great scripts. You want to make your text messages, your Facebook messages, your emails, your own, right? but this will help guide you. I didn't even know what to say in the very beginning, and Elise gave me a few things to say. I took it, made it my own, and took off. But listen, I'm gonna give you a quick tip. Keep it short and sweet. Why? Because when I get a message this long, I don't even read it. I don't have time. But if somebody says something to me like, hey Blair, oh my gosh, I was immediately thinking of you today because I've been on this product and I've been loving it and I wanna share it with you, okay, I might look. And I'm going to tell you guys, this is how simple I made mine in the very beginning. It literally said this. Oh my goodness. I thought of you today. We've got to talk tonight because there's something that I have been trying for the last couple of weeks that you are going to love. What time can you talk? Like I was just that confident. So steal the confidence from us if you need to. These are some great scripts that you can use here. Um, what to do first is a great spot to start. And the new promoter toolbox is another great spot for you as you're starting to go over the next couple of days. Now, don't binge read all in one night. Maybe set up a timer for 10 or 15 minutes and allow yourself to read a little bit each day, okay? So that you're not over exhausting yourself and forgetting everything that you just read. Because the most important thing that you can do right now is get to action. Get those new customers, get those new promoters and help them get started on their Thrive experience, okay? That's your number one goal and that's exactly where you want to make sure that you are giving everybody the most information. All right, that was like Speed Demon, VIP, new promoter training, fastest I've ever done in my whole life. So let's go to chat and if you guys have questions, I would love to answer them for you. I'm not gonna unmute everybody because that could just become madness as you guys know. Um, but I can, you can unmute yourself if you want to, if you have a question or we can go to chat and you guys can ask anything you want in there. And don't forget that we have that call in about five minutes. And Blair, they're asking a lot in the chat about oh, how to get to the vault. Can you actually walk us through the cloud office login? For some oh, of the people? Well, it's wethrivevault.com. So they don't even have to go through the cloud office anymore. It has its own website now? Oh. Yeah, we made it its own. Um, we made it its own URL because it was just too confusing for people. So, guys, it's so simple. It's wethrivevault.com. Pretty awesome, right? Yeah. All right. Um, anybody else have questions? Okay, so what do you do when you have reached out to many people through Messenger? So Candace, why don't you unmute yourself so we can talk back and forth if you want. So, and they're not responding. Okay, so um, that is normal. Let's see, hey Ryan, if I set up my gallery, so you guys can all, can you guys all see each other that way? No, oh, I can just see everybody? Okay, got it. Um, if you're so, a participant and you click gallery view, then you can see everyone. Oh, okay guys, if you're a participant, if you click ga gallery view, you can see everybody. And I want you guys to raise your hand if you've had people ignore you in the last week. Like, oh my goodness, I've had a ton because I've been reaching out a ton for burn. So don't feel like you're on your own. And Candace, I'm saying that like not to like, um, minimize that feeling because it's, it's a legit feeling. Like I still feel, you know, icky when that happens. But the reality is, is 
I ignore people all the time. And it's not because I don't care about them. It's not because I don't care about the message that they're giving me. It's honestly, usually a couple things. It's either I'm busy, I read it, but I need to go back and answer them and then I forget. Or I don't really know what they're talking about. And so I'm like, uh, or I can't remember how I know them. Right. So those are usually the three reasons that I've recognized when I ignore somebody on a message. So first, make sure they know how you know them. OK, if it's not somebody that you're super close to, maybe remind them. Um, that's a great way to do it. Saying something like, oh, my gosh, Melissa, we haven't talked in two years, but I used to love that you were my neighbor back when I lived in Lake Worth. You were so much fun and I loved always seeing you at the community pool. All right, like relate to them again so they remember how you know them, okay? Um, if it's because they saw it and they didn't ever respond and you could see that little circle with their face and you know they saw it, right? So that only works if it's messenger. If it's, if it's texting, you don't know if they saw it or not. But I always, um, Elise actually, when we were just in um, Asheville, North Carolina, did this and it was hilarious. She just goes back if it's a text message and she goes, bump to remind, that's it. She literally just texted that bump to remind. So now it goes back up and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot to answer you. Or if you're on Facebook Messenger, you could say something like, hey, wonder if you had a chance to check that out. Or just say bump to remind. Or sometimes Elise says she even puts funny emojis in there like unicorns or something. So just reaching back out again, because sometimes people just get busy and they forget to answer you because they read it. And then their kid walks in and interrupts them or they're at work and they got to put down their phone really quick because they're not supposed to have it in their hand, right? So things happen. Don't always take it personally. I'm going back to my waitress story because it's been working for a lot of people lately and they, they're all saying that they can relate to it. So I'm going to share this with you, Candace. If, if you were a waitress at a restaurant and maybe you have been before, but the very first thing they usually do for me is they say, hey, would, would you like the cocktail menu? And I usually say no. And then they come back and they say, um, are you ready? Would you like to order some appetizers? And I, I say no, because I'm trying to, you know, watch what I'm eating right now. Then they come back and they say, do you want to hear the specials? Well, sometimes I say no to that too, because I don't really want to hear the specials. And I know exactly what I want. And then they'll come back again. Are you ready to order? Oh, no, we are talking. I'm so sorry. Come back in a couple minutes. Come back. We finally order. After dinner, they ask if we want dessert, coffee. No, sorry, I don't. Do you think that waitress went into the back and got her feelings hurt? No. She went to the very next table and asked all those questions again. Why? Because she knows she has an amazing um, food to offer people and drinks and desserts, and that's what she's there to do. And she knows that the more she gets them to order, the bigger the tip it is going to be for her, right? She take it personally. She knows day in and day out there's going to be some people that say yes and some people that say no. And so I think if we can set our mindset to that every day, that will help. And then as far as the negativity, Really, you have to just decide that other people's feelings and other people's reactions, you're not in control of. The only thing that you're in control of is yourself. And so one of the things that I do personally, before I start my um, reach outs and follow ups, which I do every single day, one of the very first things I do is I'll go to YouTube and I'll look for some motivational videos, or I will put on my favorite music, or I'll read my morning devotion. Whatever it is for you, find something that fills your cup up that reminds you who you are and why this is important. The other thing I have is literally, you guys can't see this because you guys can only see behind me, but right in front of me is my vision board. It is on my wall. I look at it every day. And when somebody says something nasty back to me because it's happened, I mean, nobody said, nobody in four years has ever said, F, you don't reach out to me again. I can promise you that's probably not, not ever going to happen to you. But I have had people say, like, that's not good for you, or they just don't know what they're talking about, or um, my friend said blah, blah, blah about your product. Well, they just don't know. And so I know when I look at my vision board why I'm doing this. I know what the product's done for me. I know what the product's done for my husband. I know what the product's done for my mom and dad and for some of my friends. And I believe in it, and I know it works, and I know Paul and Jason, and I know their hearts and their passion. And quality product. And I also know where this business is going and what's possible if you want it. So I just I don't allow myself to let those people get down because they just don't know any better. What if Elise had gotten her feelings hurt when I was saying those things about her behind her back? Because believe me, she knew. A few of our mutual friends told her and she kept reaching out to me. She's like, Blair, I know this product would help you with your headaches. I know it would help you with your neck discomfort. And I know you'd have more energy for your kids and you love them so much. 
So when you're ready, you're going to tell me you're ready. Or at in any time we talk, she would bring up how much she loves the product or how much she loves the business. So just hopefully that was a little bit helpful and know also that the negativity can sometimes come from inside of us too. So don't trick yourself and think that you're not worthy of success in this business or that you're not capable of it because all of you are and whether you hit VIP 800 in the beginning or you didn't, it doesn't matter. Today's a new day. I start each and every day in this business doing my reach outs, my follow ups, adding new people to my list, posting something on Facebook that will help attract people to me for the Thrive Experience. And every day goes that way. And you guys, I've had people with me in, from the beginning of the business who decided that it wasn't right for them anymore and they left. And that could have crumbled me, could have hurt my feelings. But instead, I remembered my mission and my heart and my passion for this. And I kept it. So I hate to talk any um, longer because I know I really want you guys to get on the Lavelle live call. So I'll answer one more question and then uh, I'm going to get off. Let's see. Um, how do you do that without being too pushy? Um, Emily, I'm assuming that you mean how do I reach out to people without being pushy? So, the way I do that is by making sure that I'm following up with people in a consistent way, but not every single day, right? And if it's people that you're friends with or family or people that you talk to often, you can bring in what the business has been doing for you or what the product's been doing for you without bringing it up for them specifically. But if you're following up, I do follow-ups and I do them monthly. So there are people that have literally been getting a message from me every single month for probably a year or two. And, you know, I had somebody jump into the business with me last month who Elise and I sat down with the very first month I was started the business. So, you know, they will eventually come around, but I reach out with whatever's going on that's new. So something like, hey, I wanted to reach out to you because we have a new weight loss focused product. Are you interested in hearing more? I usually end with a question, so an open-ended question so that they can answer yes or no. If they say no, they're not interested, that's usually when I say, well, if you know anybody who's struggling with weight loss or wants to get to the next level of their weight loss journey, I, I always give great gifts for referrals, and I would appreciate you, re, you know, connecting me with them. Thanks so much. How are your kids doing? How is your dog doing? Whatever it is. But I try to keep communication going every single month. And there's always something to reach out with. That's what I love about LaBelle. They're always giving us lots of opportunities to reach out. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry, it was so fast. Um, hopefully, you guys will be joining us again next Monday. There'll be another promoter sharing with you guys. And don't forget to invite guests Wednesday night, 8.30 p.m. It'll be a What is Thrive? And we'll go over the three threes of Lavelle's. We'll have a couple people sharing their Thrive experience stories. You're going to love it. It's a great opportunity to get guests to join us, almost like a virtual uh, living room local. All right, guys, so make sure you go hit up the Lavelle Live Fast Start call. All right, guys. General Douglas McCarthy.